All right, back for round number three. We're on the draw, but we've got a keeper. The, the old double jade guardian one with the wind hand. Oh boy, another Kinjali speaker deck, huh? If you say so. But I feel like we already played against this guy. Uh, what do I want to play first? Which one would I rather trade? Because we're going to be on defense this game, I think, no matter what. I guess the Shaper Apprentice I'd rather lose. So I'll play it and block with it. Opponent is off to a blistering start. Uh, let's play... I guess Depths of Desire. Pass first, see if he makes any different decisions. I guess I let him attack first because that forces him to tap his collar. Not that that really matters. This game's not off to a great start. Alright, let's play Jade Guardian. At the very least, him attacking would force him to lose his Kinjali's Collar. Minus, like, a Sure Strike or something. Did have it. Man, alright. Jeez, my opponent's start is pretty solid. Just gonna have to keep trading creatures here. And probably still lose to the Bonded Horn Crest. It's not really a reason for him to send with the. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Good lord. Okay, game over. GG, no re. What the hell was that? Uh, so, I'm not changing anything. My deck's great. That was <laughs> just one of the most busted starts I've ever seen. One drop into three drop, four drop, three drop Planeswalker. Plus a trick thrown in for good measure. Snap keep. I've just made the decision that I want this draft to be over as soon as possible. <laughs> it's not even been an hour since I started drafting, I don't think. Maybe even a half hour. As I get older, I find that I value time more than wins. Like, if I just get run over by those fast starts, like, there's no reason for that to bother me. Just because, like, <laughs> I'll just jump in another draft. Means I have to spend more money, of course, because I'm not getting the tickets for it or whatever. But what are you going to do? I'm a pretty fast player in general feel like I'm held back more by my opponents and the client than anything. I very rarely have to make difficult decisions. Um, I'll just use my Water Trap Weaver here. Otherwise I have to make awkward trades and I don't get to do anything else. I'm already predicting that we lose this game because we're flooded already. Uh, yeah, that's probably going to beat me. guess I have to offer the trade for that on defense, so I'll attack for two.
This thing's a dinosaur? Wait a second. Oh, wait. Huh, that's weird. I feel like that shouldn't have gone on, that trigger shouldn't have happened because there was nothing. Because this is an intervening if clause, right? So there's no reason for that to go on the stack. But anyway, splitting hairs here. We're going to block and lose to a trick. Oh, or just make a trade. And I'm okay with that too. Decisions are pretty straightforward from here on out though. Can't afford to start getting defensive. Even though probably not winning a race at the moment. We need to start drawing real spells at some point. Yep, that's pretty good. Not sure why he's not attacking with the vampire token. Storm Sculptor. Hmm, so... I can either... I can play Storm Sculptor, Bounce Shaper Apprentice, then replay it, and then my River Sculptor becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Or I can attack first and make the same play. It's the same amount of damage, but it's the difference of my Shaper Apprentice being untapped or not. So I suppose I do it pre-combat. Because I'm going to get two Merfolk triggers out of the deal. I'll return the Shaper Apprentice. Replay it. Auto yield. Oh, it's only till end of turn. I thought it was counters for some reason. That's weird. So he's attacking for eight. I feel like I probably need to block here with something. Hmm. Let's see, I can take this, go to 7. Next turn I can tech with these, leave the river sneak back, use it to chump block, uh, I guess block here and take too much damage. But I feel like just trading here is not going to let me win. I can block Storm Sculptor on the Thrash of Raptors. But then I don't have enough offense to finish a game. I think I have to draw something here. I'm going to take this damage. And I'm not sure why he's not attacking with the vampire. He hasn't been this whole game. So that one damage could end up mattering at some point. Stormfleet Spy. It's not the worst draw. Let's attack. Okay, I'm starting to formulate a plan here. I'm going to leave back the river sneak, but I'm going to attack for five. Play the Stormfleet Spy. Ooh, that was a really good draw. Uh, yeah, I'll just pass the turn. He has to send with everybody. Alright, so now in response, I have to make a few plays. We're going to go, in response, we're going to Depths of Desire the thrashing thing. I'm going to leave him with no dinosaurs so this thing won't trigger. And then I'm going to pounce targeting, I think, River Sneak and the Companion. Or no, better make it the, uh, the Stormfleet Spy, right? No. River Sneak and Companion. I 
and then I'll use this to trade with his knight. Or no, I'll just block the vampire. I guess this way I don't have lethal anymore, now that I think about it. Because I forgot he was gaining a life in this exchange, so I hope I didn't just throw this game. Okay, that was a mistake, I think. For some reason, I because I, I knew I had lethal, but I just wasn't factoring in the one life from the vampire. Anyway, it's F6. So it looks like the client is frozen again. There we go. Shaper Apprentice. What does that change for me? Not a ton. send with probably just the storm sculptor is safest. Leave back as many blockers as possible in case some kind of trampling nonsense happens. I want to be a little careful. I might have thrown that game by accident, but looks like it worked out in the end. Um, well, he has a very synergistic dinosaur deck. If this had one more toughness, it'd be nicer. Although it does deal with his like two fours. It's probably better than Deep Root Waters, at the very least. Sailor of Means, I don't think it's going to be good enough. He had a lot of four power guys. Sully's Keeper can block his uh, four twos. Other than that, I think I like the way everything else looks. Maybe Windstrider isn't that great. The flying is kind of nice because the ground's probably going to get gummed up. So I think I'm going to go with this. Well, sand is good if I draw an island. I'm going to keep it on the draw. We have nine islands to draw from. Oh boy, might be looking at another busted start. Looks like a loss. Forest, not really what we were looking for. <laughs> oh man, this is a frustrating way to lose. I liked our deck. We're just getting run roughshod here. Okay, island is what I needed to not concede here. Uh, how do I not lose now? Hmm. I can bounce the hammer skull. Depths of Desire. Use the treasure to play another two drop. Hmm. 
would have actually preferred this Wayfinder to be a 3-3 at this juncture. That would have been much more useful. Because then we could try to ambush this Hammer Skull with the dive down. Or I can play the Headwater Sentries. He'll tap it in combat, but then I trade with his Nest Robber. I take 5, but the next turn I've got a giant body. I can start to try to do things. Seems better than the alternative. Found a land. This board's going to come in. is 2-1. Good lord, this start. Can I not die? Is the question. I can go Depths on the Hammer Skull, then I can go Keeper plus Apprentice, that'll allow me to triple up on the Horn Crest, go to 2, and then the turn after that I can use Dive Down to try to kill the Hammer Skull somehow. It's better than nothing, right? Oh, I don't even have enough mana to do this. I'm one mana short. So I think I'm just going to call it here. It's frustrating. There's nothing I can do here. At best I can use my dive down to not have to chump with this horn crest. And I can't even kill this knight either. This game's just over. Well, I mean, I didn't foresee going 1-2 with this deck. I thought it was at least a 2-1 deck, if not a 3-0. We had some pretty unfortunate draws. My opponents kind of nut drew me a couple times. So, I wash my hands of this. I think I'm usually pretty good about um, being self-critical and uh, knowing when I could have done things differently or when my losses were my own fault and not just luck, but I think this was just an unlucky draft. I'm just going to throw it out there. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. Um, try not to be egotistical. I try to keep a level head, but I am very frustrated that I did not do very well in this draft. So let me know in the comments what you think you would have done differently, or if anything I could have done differently to avoid this fate, or if my opponents just got very lucky. Uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts, but uh, until then, we will see you for the next draft.